Hello, that's hello with the multi emperor report. So we've got a new tropical cyclone, tropical cyclone 24. And what is interesting about tropical cyclone 24 is that per the Bureau of Meteorology, this thing is still just a low chance of tropical cyclone formation. However, the JTWC has fit to deem it as an official tropical cyclone now. And if the JTWC gets their way, this thing I think would be tr tr cyclone Jamala, Jamala, I have no idea, Yamala. However, it would be pronounced, but that is pretty interesting. The Bureau of Meteorology doesn't see anything of it, yet the JTWC already has it officially as a storm. If we go to the storm tracker page, we can go down and see. The satellite view is not all that impressive for something that's supposed to be. Now, that one actually looks, you can see much more of the structure, but this zoomed in one, it's like, what is even going on in that one? Right, and then, of course, above that, in the North Indian Ocean, We've got this medium chance of tropical cyclone formation in the next 24 hours. Maybe we'll be seeing a new cyclone out of that storm as well. So today in severe thunderstorm weather, we've got some A, not some, but A measured scale discussion and A watch in effect right now. Chance for significant hail. So let's talk about what's in effect right now. So this is a measured scale discussion for a watch that is likely, so 80%. And here is the severe thunderstorm watch that is in effect as of now. You can see storms on that the probably where those warnings are coming from from who the thunk it right look that one's going that way those are going north so there you go two severe thunderstorm watches in effect right now and one flash flood warning all the way over there so general probability wise today here would be the map with the outlook for winds 58 miles per hour and greater here would be the map indicating that there's as high as a 30% chance of hail today and a 5% up there. And then in the black hatched area is where two inch or larger hail is more likely to occur than anywhere else or something. Or there's an enhanced threat that the hail will be very large in that area. And that's going to come into play tomorrow as well. And then tornado wise, as high as a 5% chance in two areas and a 2% all around it. So tomorrow, again with the significant severe weather event and if you go down and read through it it sounds there it is it sounds like large hail is going to again be where the significant threat is so if you look at the specific map that's where you can see so texas and oklahoma i'm guessing at this point this is again going to be for the two inch larger hail as opposed to an ef2 a greater tornado or 75 mile power and greater winds so quite a few states affected by some sort of probability tomorrow Day after tomorrow, also a 15% chance. And look at that, a whole bunch all the way from Texas to the northeast with two different slight risk areas. Days 4 through 8, however, right now, the uncertainty is there. So predictability too low. So there is some sort of severe thunderstorm weather expected in days 4 through 8. But the location, the timing and the location, not yet certain enough, yes. SevereWeatherTV.com is the official homepage of the screencast. Wikiworks is W I C K E D W X dot com. Cyclocane is C Y C L O C A N E dot com. That is it for today, and I hope you're staying safe out there.